And here's our next example of how we can use synthetic division. Now, again, just like the previous example, we're going to evaluate a function, but this is a much more complicated function. And if I were to ask you to evaluate this function for x equals 3, you say, oh, that's going to be quite a bit of work, and it's going to get quite complicated. But with synthetic division, it's actually pretty easy. Again, you make a division symbol. You take the coefficients, and so we have 1, minus 3, 4, minus 6, and 5. And then you take your x equals 3, you put the 3 over there, and now you go to your steps for synthetic division. You first drop this number down here, you go 1 times 3 is 3, add them together you get 0, 0 times 3 is 0, add them together you get 4, 4 times 3 is 12, add them together you get 6, 6 times 3 is 18, add them together you get 23, and by the way, that is the function evaluated at x equals 3, so we say this is equal to 23. A lot easier than if you have to go ahead and plug that in, take the fourth root, I mean, take the fourth power and third power and second power of the number three. It goes a lot quicker than this. But just in case you don't believe that that's actually true, let's evaluate the function the old-fashioned way. So we can say that f, when x is equal to three, is equal to, so we have three to the fourth power minus three times three to the third power plus 4 times 3 to the second power, minus 6 times 3, and plus 5. So, what is 3 to the fourth power? That's 9 times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. So that would be 81 minus 3 times 3 cubed is 27, plus 4 times 3 squared, which is 9, minus 6 times 3, which is 18, plus 5. And so, well, be careful here, so when I get confused, so we have 81 minus 3 times that is also 81. Uh, that would be 4 times 9 is 36, minus 18, plus 5. So these cancel each other out. So this is equal to 36 minus 18, which is 18 plus 5, which is equal to 23. And notice we get the exact same answer. But again, things that get quite complicated like that can be very easily done with synthetic division. And just so you can see how that works again. You put down the coefficients, so this is 1, 1, negative 3, 4, negative 6, and 5. Put them in here. The number you're trying to evaluate it at, right here. You drop the first number down. 1 times 3 gives you 3. Add them together, you get 0. 0 times 3 gives you 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 times 3 gives you 12. Add them together, you get 6. 6 times 3 gives you 18, add it together, Oop. so then you go over here, gives you 18, add it together, you get 23, and that was the correct answer for the evaluation of the function. And that's how you do synthetic division when you evaluate a function.